Yeah, exactly. I know how tough it is to organize trip for Finnish fans in Paris. Well, as you can maybe hear from my voice, it's a tough job. Uh, it takes a lot of time to prepare. Uh, we don't work this full time, so we do it along our normal job. So it takes a couple of months to put all the pieces together. And uh, we found the venue already last autumn, and we came here for the long weekend to uh, go through the pubs and um, Finally, we found a good one, and it's of course the one of the big part is also the communication to get uh, the message to all the fans. How many fans from Finland are in uh, Paris? Uh, we expect to have 3,000 fans all together, and hoping that at least 2,000 are visiting our uh, venue here. For how many years do you prepare? trips like this yeah we we have this is the third time we have the own bob so we had first one in uh, ostrava and the second one was in saint petersburg last year and then this is now the third time how, how do you like it here well I, I this is my sixth time so i must say that this is not the best one for sure example in czech republic it was a lot better you have a pub here for the finnish fans how many fans uh, visit the pub every day? Every day we have, a, it depends if we have a game day, we have estimation of 400 fans and if it's our, uh, the game, uh, well sorry, if it's not the game day then we have a smaller amount, maybe 100 to 200. Uh, if Finland will do good in this championship, will you continue in Köln? No, unfortunately not, because uh, so many fans, they only come to their, this uh, first group section and they don't come to their second round at, at all. What other program do the fans have? Well, uh, we have here, we have uh, interviews, like at the, uh, currently we have Esa Tikkanen uh, having an interview on the stage. Then we have live music and uh, then we have organized uh, three cruises. So they're staying a cruise um, with their one uh, event company. So pretty much that's it. Then with the other uh, event uh, agency, they have organized uh, like tours for tourists and shopping days and stuff like that. <laughs> How do you like it here in Paris? I like it. Uh, it's so much more uh, heat here than in Finland. It's more warm, and I can use shorts and t-shirts and things like that. It's like a summer here in Finland. It was winter time at Tuesday. It was snowing when we were uh, going on the road. How did you arrive to Paris? Uh, we get up here with car. We drove like uh, 2,000 kilometers from Finland. Uh, it was quite wide. We stayed in uh, Germany, in Baderborn, at my friend's place. And we drew to Copenhagen in Denmark and Sweden. And uh, after German, we went to Luxembourg and then to Paris. And it was like three days trip. Yeah. Uh, you said that you won the trip yeah. here. How did it happen? It was a Facebook competition. Uh, I just uh, put uh, one like to a Facebook photo. It was a car shop that was uh, uh, making this competition and uh, uh, the price was that uh, we can drive the car shop's car here to Paris and and uh, and they, they are uh, paying our uh, hotels and everything. I, I just have to buy, pay my own beers here. <laughs> How long will you stay here and is it your first world championship? It's my first world championships, yeah. Uh, I think I have been uh, in one game in Helsinki world championships, but I don't count that. This is my world first time in world championships. And uh, uh, we are here uh, five nights. Yeah. And then we are coming back, coming back home. How do you see the chances of Finland at this year's World Championship? Ah, uh, I think there's uh, very good players in the team now. 
very good young players, but uh, they ha haven't uh, played so good. I don't know. I hope the best, but uh, maybe the next days will will show how how it will go.